Well, it is great to see you. I hope you're doing well. I am your American weatherman, Carl Rippey, and we've got a lot going on in our weather, so come on in. We'll check this out together. Major disturbance that's moving up into the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Helen is moving into the uh, Big Bend area. Going to keep on up through the deep south into our eastern states. It'll eventually make its exit into the Atlantic after moving through the eastern seaboard. We will have flights that are going to be delayed, disrupted, and something that you may need to be aware of. You'll notice it here really moving into some of our major hubs, and that's going to affect flight time and maybe a lot of your travel plans. So call ahead and make arrangements if necessary. Few disturbances out in the Caribbean that are noteworthy. They're going to cause a little bit of disruptive weather for us in terms of some of these showers. Later in the day, we'll get into our daytime high. Some of those clouds are going to get a little bit more organized and bring some of that unsettled weather right into our area. You'll notice that that's going to be the case for our Friday. It'll also affect us as we get through the weekend. Now we're also going to have some sunny breaks. We'll have some nicer weather to deal with, but it isn't going to be out of the realm of possibility to get some heavier showers, especially where these darker green areas move through. That's where we could get some of that torrential rain. We could get some winds that are going to make for some wave heights that are a little taller, a little higher than we're used to. One and a half, two, two and a half, three meters out in the open water. And that could also affect us as we are on the, uh, the beach, if we're doing any kind of snorkeling, could make the water a little murky. Some of that upwelling stirs the ocean floor up and then that sediment makes it into the, uh, the water itself and makes for uh, not quite as clear of a view of some of the uh, Caribbean that really does live. Don't let that derail your plans though, it'll still be an experience. As far as a wind direction and wind speeds go, they're still going to be coming in from the east, blowing toward the west, 15 to 20 miles an hour, and that means it's going to be somewhere in that 25 to 30 kilometer per hour, ideal for kite surfing. Looking at our temperatures, we're out in the evening, mid 80s for the most part, it'll be pleasant. We'll have a cloud or two. Be a beautiful sunset and sunrise if the cloud cover isn't too heavy. And then we get into the afternoon, we're still going to pop into the upper 80s. We'll see a lower 90 here and there. And it is going to affect us as we get through the next few days, as we will have these chances for these showers that not only take us through the weekend, but will linger into next week. You'll notice too that our overnight lows start to cool off just a notch or two. Now that's one quick look at our weather on One Happy Island, exclusively brought to you by Linky TV and Aruba Native News.